What a blessed day it is today to praise the Lord. Every day is a good day to praise the Lord, whether it's hard, painful, but God is so worthy of our praise. And I just wanted to share Job 37 and a testimony, um, a couple testimonies actually today. Uh, God is just so good and I just have to share Job 37. It's been raining here and thundering and I said, God, where do you want me to read? And so I opened it up, kind of played Russian roulette with the Bible and just opened it up wherever God wanted me to read. And he said, 27. And when I got to 27, I miswrote when I was uh, telling my fiance I was reading Job 27. I wrote 37. And I said, let me look at 37. And so this is what it says. And like I said, I just came out of the rain. I went walking, um, and it's, it's just, God is so good. So listen to this. At this also my heart trembles, Job 37, and leaps from its place. Hear attentively the thunder of his voice and the rumbling that comes from his mouth. He sends forth under the whole heaven his lightning and ends of the earth. After it, a voice roars. He thunders with his majestic voice, and he does not restrain them when his voice is heard. God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall on the earth. And he does not restrain them when his voice is heard. For um, God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. Sorry, one more time. For he says to the snow, fall on the earth. Likewise to the gentle rain and the heavy rain of his strength. He seals the hand of every man that all men may know his work. Mm. and remain and um, may know his work. The beasts go into dens and remain in their lairs. From the chap chamber of the south comes the whirlwind, and cold from the scattering winds of the north. By the breath of God, ice is given. By the breath of God, ice is given. And the broad waters are frozen. Also with moisture, he saturates the thick clouds. He scatters his bright clouds. Mm. And they swirl about being turned by his guidance. They, that they may do whatever he commands them on the face of the whole earth. He causes it to come, whether for correction or for his hand. No, it says whether for correction or for his land or for mercy. Listen to this, O Job. Stand still and consider the wonders, wondrous works of God. <sighs> Just take that in for a second. Stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Sometimes it's just good to meditate on the wondrous works of God. It's actually always good to meditate on the wondrous works of God. Um, I'm going to finish up, but I just had to say that because when you really meditate, which focus and just take time and just really analyze the goodness, the wondrous works of God, it just changes your whole perspective on your day. It's, it, it literally does because you think about every creature, every creation he's made, every detail on every creature. He's the one who called it into fruition. Hallelujah. He spoke us before we were even here millions of years ago. So uh, every creature he spoke into existence. He knows every creature that's created. He can, He's in control of everything. He's so beyond our understanding, his, his vastness. So anyways, I'm going to continue. I just had to kind of take a break right there and just 
give God the glory because look at how amazing he is. He's so beautiful. Mm. Uh, and it says, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Do you know when God dispatches them and causes the light of his clouds to shine? Do you know how the clouds are balanced, those wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge? Why are your garments hot when he quiets the earth by the south wind? With him have you spread out the skies, strong as cast metal mirror? Why are your garments, oh, and then it says, teach us what we should say to him, for we can prepare nothing because of the darkness. Should he be told that I wish to speak? If a man were to speak, surely he would be swallowed up. Even now men cannot look at the light when it is bright in the skies. When the wind has passed and cleared them, he comes from the north as golden splendor. Oh, this is so good. With God... Uh, with God is awesome majesty. As for the Almighty, we cannot find him. He is excellent in power and judgment and abundant justice. He does not oppress, therefore men fear him. He shows no partiality to any who are wise of heart. Wow, hallelujah, God, you're just so good. I just pray that you just fill this day up with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Touch those who hear this. Heal those who listen. Break through for those who need breakthrough in their finances, in their relationships, in their families. I pray for miracles, signs, and wonders. Holy Spirit, I pray for holy encounters for myself, for my family. Lord, I pray for angels to be placed over everybody who listens and encounters for them also holy encounters and healing in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, over the word, over everybody who listens, and I bind every witch, warlock, and every evil spirit, and every arrow I send back by cinder and cast down and bind in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, I just had to give God the glory real quick and read that. So good. Um, it's one of Job's friends speaking to him in the midst of his trial and just really getting Job to think of the vastness and the wonderful God that we have. Um, he's just so powerful. I love it because it just sounds like poetry. And God is poetry. God is so many things. <laughs> he's so vast. He's so powerful. But I wanted to share today um, a wonderful testimony. And if I cry because I'm so happy, just fast forward it if you don't want to listen to me get all emotional, but you know, the goodness of God is real, and he does hear us, and he does, he does change things, and he does move on the behalf of our faith, hallelujah, he does move on the behalf of our faith and our commandments, hallelujah, how we command things how we take authority in faith, hallelujah, so important, and it's so important to be obedient to what he's saying, and to have a clear understanding of what he's saying. So my first testimony is actually going to be on my dear friend who I've been praying for. Um, it's I'm just so excited and so thankful because um, just last week, we didn't know if she was going to be able to stay around. At least that's what the doctors were saying. You know, that um, her birthday was Monday, and they believed that, you know, nothing. the doctor said that, you know, it's not going to be good. You know, she's not going to be able to breathe on her own, all these things, that she's going to have to have a trach and all this stuff. But God is so good. And so a group of us, uh, uh, many people, I mean, probably so many people have been praying and standing in faith. 
and believing that she would live and not die, just commanding life over her, speaking life over her, and um, just coming in agreement and praying over her for her children, for her future. And she, um, and God is just so good. So today when I got on uh, Facebook, they said, Amanda, have you heard? And I said, oh my goodness, what are they about to say? Because the last thing was, is, you know, she might not go past Monday. You know, they might have to, it might be the end. And anyways, um, I, I read today from her mom that she is awake. Her eyes are open. She's breathing on her own. She's responding to her children. Hallelujah. God gets all the glory. God gets all the glory. Hallelujah. And I believe she's going to be completely restored and healed. I mean, even better than before. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus over her. Hallelujah. And all of her family. I'm so thankful. God is so good. I'm so thankful. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Jesus is a faithful father. And you know, when you start to speak in faith, sometimes you 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 start to be like, oh, was that too much? <laughs> like, Am I being disrespectful? You know, because when you're speaking in faith, it's against what is being said. And you don't want to come off like you don't care about what people um, are going through because people are going through things. They're hurting, you know, but at the same point, you know who you're connected to. And God was just showing me today, the Holy Spirit was just showing me as I was walking um, how I, it's Jesus. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. He's so loyal. And it, that's why I could speak in faith. It wasn't because of anything of me. Definitely not. If it was me, it would have failed a long time ago. But it's because of Jesus, my best friend, who I can call on and say, Jesus, I got this thing. And he says, oh, I've got the keys of life and death in my hands. Hallelujah. I've got the keys of life and death in my hands. He says, whatever you ask, you shall receive. Hallelujah. If you believe and you receive, you shall, you shall receive it in Jesus' name. So, you know, just really going past the doctors and going past those things and just believing in who God is to us and standing firm. He's our best friend. He's a faithful father. He loves us so much. Hallelujah. He's so good. And I just had to say that I had to share. I had to testify. We overcome by the power of our testimony and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our testimony is so important. So the other thing that I wanted to testify about is supernatural finances. Our last video I did, I was testifying about how God blessed us um, wonderfully with a neighbor and they were so kind and they gave to us. They didn't only give um, finances, but they gave and mind you, we are we don't need, but it was a blessing. You know what I mean? And everybody can use a little bit more, but I'm just saying it was it was the kindest act of love that someone could have given us. It was like the letter that they wrote, everything was so beautiful. It was so kind. And um and honestly we didn't want to take it, but it, it was just God's goodness. You know, sometimes you just have to just let God do what he's doing and just go with the flow, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm not used to um, taking like that from people. Um, but, you know, God is teaching me, you know, when he's wanting to bless, we have to receive, you know. Freely he gives, freely we give, and free freely we receive, right? So uh, freely we receive, freely we give. But I wanted to say that another financial miracle has happened. And um, David and I has prayed and we've given it to God. 
um, our finances and everything, our debts. Um, and so anyways, because of Brandon Weaver and God, um, but Brandon Weaver, God led us to Brandon Weaver because we were interested in how do we take care of this kind of stuff, our debts. And we came across Brandon Weaver, who is also here on YouTube. Look him up. He's an amazing teacher. He, everything he talks about, it works. It's a hundred percent legitimate. And I, not only are we going to testify about how wonderful his program works, but we're also going to testify and we're also going to seed into his ministry, his work, because uh, he gives it away for free. He gives away knowledge for free and he will help with documentation and stuff, but he's a wonderful asset to have um, somebody who really has helped so many people and he definitely helped us. So last year we were really praying and praying about um, supernatural debt cancellation and it happened. Um, God erased all my debt, $20,000 of debt. I'm talking about, it might have been more than $20,000 um, because actually I had about $20,000 just in school loans and about $10,000 for a car and everything got erased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Check out Brandon Weaver on YouTube, please. He's wonderful. And anyways, and David and I have been praying over his debt. And um, we did the paperwork. We wrote the letters to the IRS and everything and sent them in. And we had been going back and forth and waiting, you know, for them to, to you know, follow suit with his because, you know, it, they have to prove original signature in order to, to um, hold you to a debt and if they don't have original signature it's not binding to you and a lot of people don't know that I didn't know that but God says knowledge is power and so God gave us that knowledge and um, it is powerful it is so powerful it freed us so it freed David sixty thousand dollars and me, $20,000, that's $80,000 in two years that we have come up. Hallelujah. And that's all because of God's goodness and glory and his favor and his wonderful faithfulness. He's so good. I'm telling you, he's so good. When we look today, I said, let's just check out. You know, he said, I think my, my score has gone up a little bit. I said, well, let's just check it out. So he checked it out, and all we could see was zero, 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 nothing. And, and we still have other things we've got to handle, but for the debt that we needed taken care of, it was erased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I just wanted to lift you up and um, exalt you because you're worthy of it. And I pray that other people will get supernatural debt freedom and also supernatural finances from your heavenly treasures. I pray that people will be healed in their bodies. I pray for tumors to dissolve. I pray for eyes to be open. I pray for hearts to be regulated in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of death and sickness in Jesus' name. I pray for blood to be cleaned in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of diabetes in the name of Jesus. I pray for knees to be recreated and backs to be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for bones to be recreated. Hallelujah. I pray for ears to open up and teeth to be healed. Hallelujah. I pray for anybody who's dealing with uh, the COVID-19. I bind it and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I lose healing over your body. I speak life over you in Jesus' name. I lose angels into your room right now where you're at. I lose angels and I speak life over you. I bind every spirit of suicide, oppression, depression in Jesus' name. And I lose joy into your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father. 
Anybody dealing with hormonal issues, I bind and rebuke and I lose complete regulation according to your heavens, Father God, that the, their hormones will align with heaven in Jesus' name, that bodies will come in alignment with heaven in the name of Jesus. I command bodies to come in alignment with heaven now in Jesus' name. All cellular structures to come into alignment with heaven in Jesus' name. All wombs to come into alignment with heaven in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Complete healing. Hallelujah. Complete restoration. Hallelujah. I bind the spirit of cancer. Every spirit of cancer must go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You must go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I lose angels of life and love and creativity. And I pray for angels of protection over children. Hallelujah. I bind every spirit of abuse, every spirit of, of neglect. And I ask for angels of protection and provision for the children in Jesus' name. And angels of protection and provision over people who are in need of protection and provision. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, for your goodness. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your loyalty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Well, have a blessed day and um, just continue travailing for your loved ones and standing in faith because God is worthy. He's worthy of standing in faith with. Hallelujah. He's a good father.